councillors. It's uh, 5.45 and we have a quorum. I will declare the meeting open um, just to let those um, in attendance uh, know and those watching um, at home that um, at the annual meeting, the CEO conducts the meeting and runs the meeting until such time as the mayor is elected. First item of business in opening the meeting is the opening prayer and original custodian's statement. Could I ask everyone to please stand? Almighty God, grant to this council wisdom, understanding and sincerity of purpose for the good governance of this city. Amen. And the original custodian statement, I wish to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we stand and pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Please be seated. We have a full house, therefore there are no apologies this evening. Um, item three is declarations uh, by councillors and officers of any conflict of interest in any item on the agenda. Does anyone have any conflict of interest to declare? There are none. We'll move on to item 4.1, which, <coughs> which is the term of reference for the Mayor. Uh, under section 26.3 of the Local Government Act 2020, it requires council to determine the length of the mayoral term prior to the election of the mayor. The term decided will apply to the deputy mayor um, if one is also elected. The term of office of the mayor and deputy mayor may be a one-year term or a two-year term. Uh, councillors, do I have a motion? Councillor Ziegler? Yes, uh Mr Schneider, I will move that the term of office for the Mayor of Warrnambool City Council be for a period of one year. Thank you. Uh, do I have a seconder? Yes. Councillor Jelly. Um, would you like to speak to that, Councillor Ziegler? No. Okay. Um, would anyone like to speak to that item at all? Um, <coughs> if not, I will put that uh, to the vote. Um, could I have a show of hands, please? Are we in favour of that? That is passed unanimously. Item 4.2 is procedure for the election of mayor. It's a fairly comprehensive procedure um, as dictated by our uh, meeting procedure um, and under the Local Government Act. Um, we have indicated that we'll now adopt a one-year term, so that's what we'll be calling for. Um, any nominations for the Mayor, uh, the Office of Mayor, must be made verbally by the Council's President the, at this meeting. A nomination uh, for Mayor does not need require a seconder. If there is only one nomination, the Council are nominated is deemed to be elected. If there are more than one nomination, then we go through a process as outlined within the report. Um, so, all we're looking for at the moment um, is a, a move of the motion for this one, really, which is just the procedure. Do I have someone who would like to move this motion? Councillor Jelly, what is your motion? Um, I would like to move a motion that um, we accept the uh, executive summary for the procedure for election for Mayor. Thank you. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Ziegler? <coughs> Councillor Jolly, would you like to speak to that? Councillor Ziegler? Anyone else like to speak to that? Thank you. Uh, I'll put that to the vote. All those in favour that this report be received, it's declared unanimously. Uh, item 4.3 is the calling of nominations for the position of Mayor. Do I have any nominations? Councillor Koish? Thank you, Mr. Schneider. I uh, nominate Councillor uh, Debbie Annette for position of mayor. Thank you. Councillor Annette, do you accept that nomination? I do, thank you. Thank you. Do I have any other nominations before I call them to a close? Uh, there being no further nominations, uh, I declare uh, Councillor Annette mayor for the 12 month uh, period. Um, so, with that, um, I would like to can do the mayoral presentation. If you'd like to come forward, Councillor Arnott. Now, if you can stand. Thank you. 
Um, the mayoral pendant is a badge of the office of mayor and is a token of the mayor's authority in the civic life of the community. May it remind you and all who wear it of the solemn duties, obligations and responsibilities of the office of mayor. Just so that So the Mayor will now take uh, the chair, and um, but before the Mayor does take over that, um, I'll give the opportunity for any councillors who would like to uh, say anything um, on, to the Mayor by congratulating the Mayor. Councillor yep, Jelly. I'd like to congratulate um, Councillor Arnott, um, and I'm sure we all look forward to working with her and her leadership um, over the coming year. Thank you. Anyone else? I would so. also like to endorse what Councillor Jelly has just said to congratulate uh, Councillor Arnott on becoming elected as mayor and uh, I'll give you all my support for the next 12 months. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I'd just like to say congratulations to um, Councillor Arnott on the mayoral role and um, Best of luck for the next 12 months. Thank you. Can I finish? Councillor Koish. Yeah, I would like to congratulate Councillor Ernest for the position, and uh, we, we are here to support you all the way to the end of your term. Thank you. Thank you. If there are no other speakers, I would like to conclude. Um, Mayor, Madam Mayor, um, and just uh, congratulate you and uh, say that uh, on behalf of the administration, uh, both myself and the executive management team look forward to working with you and supporting you in the next 12 months. Thank you. I'd just like to say a, a, a few words. Um, it is definitely an honour and a privilege to serve council and our community. Um, and I take this opportunity to thank my colleagues for electing me to this position. Firstly, I must thank Councillor Vicky Jelly. Um, she's done an outstanding job over the last year and her dedication and commitment to the position has seen her serve her community well once again. Um, I certainly have some large shoes to fill. Um, over the next year, I will strive with my fellow councillors and organisation to deliver on our council plan, initiatives and priori priorities. Our advocacy and teamwork will enable us to work with a strategic focus. In particular, in ensuring we have completed the feasibility study and have a pathway for a reimagined Flagstaff Hill, continuing to seek funding opportunities for the redevelopment of Briley Reserve, working towards developing a new aqua zone as well as an updated animal shelter. It's also important that we are ready to embrace the state government reform with our kindergartens. I will work with the councillors to make decisions for the benefit and betterment of our municipal community. I'll engage with the community at every opportunity and advocate for the services, facilities and infrastructure that our community needs and deserves. I'm excited to represent Warrnambool City Council. We live in a truly wonderful place and I am passionate and positive about the future ahead of us. I look forward to working collaboratively and respectfully with all my fellow councillors. Thank you. Okay. Um, we will now call for the election of Deputy Mayor and this report provides advice on the process for the election of Deputy Mayor of Warrnambool City Council. So, um, uh, do I have um, any nominations, please, Councillor Jelly? Um, yes, I'd like to nominate um, Councillor Max Taylor for the role of Deputy Mayor. Councillor Taylor, do you accept the nomination? I'll accept that nomination, uh, Councillor Arnott, yes. Thank you. Is there any further nominations? 
No, thank you. Congratulations to Councillor Taylor. You are our Deputy Mayor. Well done. Thank you. We will now move to item 4.7, the ceremonial motions. This report lists various ceremonial motions to be considered at the Council's annual meeting. Um, the motion of loyalty, the recommendation. Um, do I have a mover? Councillor Paspaliaris. Um, I move that the Warrnambool City Council declare its loyalty and allegiance to Australia, the State of Victoria and the citizens of Warrnambool. Thank you. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Ziegler. Um, all those in favour? Thank you. I'd like to add an item 4.7, section B, motion to previous Mayor and councillors. Do I have a recommendation? Councillor Jelly. Yes, thank you, Mayor. I would like to um, move the recommendation that the Warrnambool City Council places on record its appreciation to past mayors and councillors who have served on the Warrnambool City Council. Thank you. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Taylor. All those in favour? Carried unanimously. Um, a motion to parliamentarians. Um, do I have a recommendation? Councillor Blaine. Thank you. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Akush. Thank you. All those in favour? Carried unanimously. Motion to community members of advisory committees and volunteers. Do I have a recommendation? Councillor Ziegler. I move that the Warrnambool City Council places on record its appreciation to the citizens of this city and district who have willingly contributed to the governance and well-being of the city and its services through their service as community members of advisory committees and as volunteers assisting in many council and community activities. Do I have a seconder? Council Paspaliaris. All those in favour? Carried unanimously. Motion to recognise the sister city relationship with Mayura Japan and Chongchun China. Do I have a recommendation? Councillor Taylor. Thank you, uh, Mayor Arnott. Yes, I'd like to move a recommendation that the Warrnambool City Council places on record its commitment to international peace and understanding by its participation in the sister city relationship with Mura, Japan and Changchun, China. Thank, Thank you. you. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Jelly. All those in favour? Carried unanimously. Thank you. A motion of recognition of working relationships with councils of the Great South Coast Re Region. Do I have a recommendation? Councillor Paspaliaris. Um, I move that Warrnambool City Council places on record its desire to work for the wellbeing of the region through cooperation with councils of the Great South Coast Region. Thank you. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Taylor. Um, all those in favour? Carried unanimously. A motion of recognition role of Eastern Ma. Councillor Jelly. Um, thank you. Uh, yes, I would like to move a motion of the recognition role of Eastern Ma. The Warrnambool City Council places on its record its recognition of Eastern Ma's role as the peak body involved in treaty negotiations with the Victorian Government and that Council commits to working with Eastern Ma to this end. Do I have a seconder? Councillor Ziegler. All those in favour? Carried unanimously. Thank you. We'll close the meeting now at 5.59. Thank you, everyone.